You need to use this free tool if you want to customize and even optimize your windows to boost FPS and lower input delay in all of the games that you play. Hey everyone, it's Reg here and inside of this, I will be showing you guys a free tool which you can use to not only customize the whole windows experience but also optimize it to fix any and all FPS drops, lags or stutters, lower input delay and boost FPS in every single game that you might be playing. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them with their PC as well also make sure to hit that subscribe button because a lot of you guys watch these videos without even subscribing and if these videos are helping you then i think a subscription is not too much of a price anyways let's dive straight into today's video so this tool i'm talking about is the win arrow tweaker now i will leave the link to download it in the description down below and this will be the website all you need to do is go ahead and click on this little download button right here and it should download the tweaker once you have it downloaded it will be in a zip format so just go ahead and use either one of these setups this one is a silent setup so it won't show a window but install it in the background and this one is just the regular setup just use either one and then you will have it installed once you have it open it up right click on the winero tweaker.exe and run it as administrator now this piece of software has a bunch of customization settings and tweaks and we're going to be looking at some of the more useful ones in my opinion or some of the ones that i find important etc etc also at the end of the video i'll show you how you can import my personal settings and the ones that i have applied on this window so yeah make sure to check that out but before that i want to get into some of the meat and juice i don't know what they say but that of this software starting with the appearance there is a lot that you can customize such as the arrow light the whole theme of the windows the alt tab the color title bars custom accents i mean most of this is probably what you can change in the settings but it's just much more easier and also another cool thing about this software is if you open up one of these tweaks and click on this see in detail how this tweak works it actually takes you to the website where it shows off how this particular tweak works and how you can apply it manually as well so that's something that i found really useful especially if you want to go ahead and get into tweaking yourself or if you want to learn how something works so yeah that's really helpful so startup sound the classic windows startup sound if you want that you can always go ahead and do that then there is the theme behavior if you want to like change the mouse pointers or the desktop icons with certain themes and yada 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 after that advanced appearance settings is mostly like i icons the context menu and all that stuff the font and etc which i think is like pretty fun to play around with like you can change their width and they will be like huge in terms of their width if that makes sense but other than the experience let's move on to behavior and this in my opinion is one of the most important tabs inside of this whole program there are disable unwanted ads and apps as you can see i have disabled all of this automatic registry backup i mean this is useful but it's not really something that i want to do from myself um, because it just goes ahead and keeps the registry backed up automatically which isn't really necessary unless you are applying a bunch of random registry tweaks that you don't even know what they do which i don't recommend in the first place some of the other customization options disable arrow shake this is really all one is this disable app lookup in stores uh, this is just like when you search apps in the start menu it just looks them up in the store which for me i have disabled store so yeah i have disabled this as well disable automatic maintenance one of the uh, recommended tweaks disable download blocking I'll disable the driver updates with windows updates i have disabled the windows updates as well as for now so yeah that is the reason i have disabled these as well disable mrt for installing uh, disable smart screen all the stuff related with the useless security system of windows disable timeline disable windows updates enable alt tag crash lock screen yada yada error reporting disable that hibernation options make sure to disable hibernation and hit apply and it just applies that keep thumbnails cache this can be like useful if you have a bunch of files and the file explorer just loads you know a lot slower because it needs to keep building up those thumbnails so yeah it might be um, useful in that but for most people i will just recommend keeping it off menu show delay well this one is not so this this is the one that we're talking about the delay uh, between the click and this menu showing up uh, power throttling always turn it off i'm pretty sure most of you have already turned it off if you have followed any of my previous videos then i think some other ones are ah, yeah this one show bsod instead of the sad smiley face so yeah this is the one that i use even though i don't get bsod's now that much other than when i'm testing some os or something like that this one is another one that i'm pretty sure that a lot of you have applied if you have been following me but yeah just go ahead and this is set to 16 gigs uh it should be inside of the my profile so you don't need 
need to change anything inside of here. Uh, close the behavior, boot and log on. There's a lot here. I mean, we cannot go through each and every setting inside of this software unless the video would be like two hours long or something. This one is like not even that important other than probably some customization with the windows. Then the desktop and taskbar. Same thing here, mostly customizations. Like you can get the old volume control and even the old battery fly out. So yeah, all of that. For example, if I go ahead and enable this, just look at it. It's the older fly out. If I disable this, uh, it's the newer one. This right here. So yeah, this is what's inside of the desktop and taskbar. Just mostly in the customization. Then there is the context menu. Like you can add a lot of things into your context menu such as I have added these power options where I can just quickly go into the power options just by right clicking. Uh, you can add all of those. You can even go with switch power plan, run with priority and windows update. All of those cool things you can add such as file hash to know the SHA1 and other hashes of a file to verify that there has been nothing tampered with it. View owner or this should be and take ownership as well and things like that. This comes is in really handy if you are running some software that requires uh, certain permissions uh, that you need to go ahead and use it again and again so it's just really nice to have that in the context menu however i wouldn't recommend adding too many things because then the context menu would be too long and you would have to keep looking for that thing that you're searching for anyway let's move on to settings and control panel and it's basically the same thing but i would recommend this one yeah hide pages so yeah you can also hide certain settings from the settings yeah file explorer a lot of useful things here as well such as the default drag and drop action the customizing pc folders or disabling quick access or adding folders to it and all the good stuff you can even enable classic search and do all of that then inside of network there isn't really much you should be doing here so yeah i would just recommend skipping it for most people same thing with the user account other than the uh, disabled uac yeah this one is really important if you want to apply some of the certain tweaks that won't apply if you have the uac on so yeah i would go ahead and recommend disabling the UAC. Then Windows Defender, let's go ahead and disable it. I know that a lot of people think that it might harm their PC or something like that. No, I do know that you will be vulnerable. Vulnerable. Yes, I know you will be vulnerable to a lot of the harmful software on the internet. But if you just keep cautious, then there is no need of using Windows Defender as it only uses a lot of resources that can be used for gaming instead. So yeah, that's the reason I recommend disabling it and just being cautious on the web. Then the Windows apps, auto update apps, disable that, disable Cortana, disable working and, and all of this. Just go ahead and disable this. Then the privacy. So in the privacy, uh, the one that I recommend is just disabling telemetry that's all you don't want windows or microsoft collecting your data so yeah just go ahead and disable that then for the shortcuts you can just go ahead and disable some of these things related to shortcuts such as the name in the shortcut or even the shortcut icon and all of that good stuff in tools there is a lot of things that you can change such as even your oem information so you can go ahead and set who is the manufacturer the model and the logo and all of those things you can change the registered owner merge some of the reg files also another useful thing is yes this one run as trusted installer so some tweaks as usual require the permissions from the trusted installer in order to be applied properly for example disabling services so yeah uh, this is the thing that you would use in order to run those reg files or the batch files or whatever you are running just browse through here add that file then just go ahead and run it as trusted installer and it should just run uh, for me i just ran the rufus no just close out of this system restore point you can go ahead and configure restore point create a new one and all that and you can also get some classic apps such as the old windows follow viewer that i have already activated just gonna go ahead and close this you can get the classic calculator the classic windows 7 games sticky notes widgets and all that good stuff and now how you can go ahead and download and use this Recnotic profile which will apply most of these tweaks at least the useful ones for you but before that i want to go on to my website so this should be the website this will be the link down below in the description and the post will be at the top right here with the same title and the same thumbnail as this video that you are watching so all you need to do is just click on this and as you can see that we have disabled the pop-up ad so once you click on it it will just take you to the website no more annoying new tabs or pop-ups or anything just scroll down click on this gigantic red download button and then it will take you straight to mediafire there are no new tabs opening up no ads no nothing all you need to do is just click on the download and you will have 
this file once you have this file just go into the Venero tweaker click on file click on import export tweaks click on import tweaks from a file click on next hit browse and then just go ahead and browse the Recnetics profile that I and I open hit next once again and it will then just go ahead and say that these are all of the settings that will be imported do you want to apply hit yes and that's all uh, the reason that control panel and these opened up is because I enabled the classic photo viewer so yeah that's the only reason so tweaks have been imported hit ok now you can close out of this restart your PC and enjoy oh by the way if you are looking for this wallpaper I think I'll upload it to my discord server the link can be found in the description so yeah make sure to join that other than that if this video helped you in any way shape or form then make sure to leave a like down below it will only take you guys a second and will help the video reach more people so that it can help those as well also make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video and with that I guess I'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome